ID uh, talk about the Hawks update and uh, them talking about some of the arrests that they've made of people who work in government offices. Well, Etequini Municipality Forensic Investigator Ntutukum Tungwa will be back in court for a bail application on Monday. He was arrested earlier this month. He faces charges of extortion and corruption. Of course, this has compromised the Metro's investigating unit. Our senior reporter, Desen Thathia, has been following the story. He joins us now from our Durban studio. Desen, thank you so much for joining us. I mean, this is a real... Uh, so, I see you're actually outside. You're not in the studio. <laughs> but um, this, is, this is really problematic because this hits at the heart of the Metro's attempts to clamp down on, on corruption, on criminality, uh, and someone within that unit um, is now um, facing charges. Just, just talk to me uh, about what he's charged with um, and whether the entire investigation unit could now have been compromised. Well, Sal, this is one of the reasons why we been staying on this story is because it's an extremely important one because of the implications and what it means and what that unit itself does. So the city's integrity and investigation unit is responsible for, in, lay in layman's terms, just keeping ta taxpayers' money safe or residents' money safe because it ensures that there are no dodgy dealings when it comes to tenders. It ensures that the people that are tasked with handling money within the municipality are not uh, doing anything underhanded with it. And they are also, that's also the department where the public is meant to report any of this activity to. So Ntutugo Mtungwa is one of the forensic investigators there. That's the gentleman that we, we've seen in court that is uh, accused of being involved in extortion as well as fraud. But the other element here is that through its investigations, the city also uncovered that there was a second employee who was allegedly linked to Ntungwa's activities. Now, what's even more interesting about that is that during the course of, of covering the story, I also found out that the same businessman who is the complainant, remember Mtungwa is accused of trying to extort money from a businessman through what he said was an inquiry into that businessman. There was no such inquiry. I found out that the other employee was someone that had approached that businessman in February this year and accused him of being involved in SASA fraud. Nothing came of that, and that other, uh, you know, the other person that's suspected in this case didn't follow through. But it's now come to light that that is the second employee that has since resigned from that unit. He was initially given a letter of suspension by the municipality, but before anything could come of that, any disciplinary action could come of that, he then decided to resign. So you can see that the, the, the situation is starting to unravel. The city, on one hand, says that it's trying to root out all of the bad elements and, and residents should still have trust in that unit, but there's also a different perception from others, particularly opposition parties. I had an opportunity to speak to the Democratic Alliance. Their caucus leader in Etikwini says that that entire unit is compromised. Let's listen to what Tabani Mtetwa had to say to me. We were not surprised. Obviously, we are very much concerned that a unit of this nature is involved in such a messy and corrupt activity. But as we said, we're not surprised because there has been a suspicious activity for years in that unit. There are reports that implicate politicians and some senior officials that get swept under the, under the carpet, which is why we tabled earlier this year a motion in council to say the city integrity and investigation reports must be made public and we must get regular reports from that unit, but that doesn't happen. So we do know that that unit is compromised, it has been infiltrated by some rock elements. I mean, it's disheartening to hear that uh, it sounds like corruption uh, is still alive and well in the Etiquini Metro when you consider that the former mayor, Zandile Gomede, is still to... Um, to go on trial for that Durban solid waste tender that uh, was highly problematic. Um, clearly, there are still issues to be dealt with. Um, you have spoken to an independent private investigator about uh, the matter. What perspective did they bring to it? Speaking of Mayor Sal, let me start with this. I've also been trying to pin down an interview with uh, the current mayor, Uncle Isi Kaunda, uh, since yesterday. But unfortunately, uh, you know, despite uh, the best of our arrangements, we haven't been able to secure that yet. 
um, and uh, we are still trying to to get a, a, you know, more information from the city on exactly how they're going to handle this and the other uh, implications of what's happening within that unit. So hopefully we will be able to bring, bring that to you. But in the interim, we've been talking to a number of people about these implications. One of them, Sal, is looking back at all of the cases that, for example, Ntunga would have dealt with. And all of those cases now have a question mark hanging over them because it means that if this was done here and in this matter and he was uh, supposedly linked to an extortion case in, the, in, in this particular matter, what then of the other cases are the dockets that he's been handling since then? Uh, sources have also been telling us that before he joined the municipality, he was also a member of the Hawks. So one of the things that uh, Rick Crouch, that's the private investigator that I spoke to, said is that the investigation, if there is any investigation into him and his activities, it would have to go far beyond just the current position that he's holding, but as far back as to when he started his career. And that uh, is, is some, uh, one part of a discussion that we had. Let's listen into that interview that I conducted with Rick Crouch. Well, the implications are quite serious because that means that every case that this person or these people have worked on would need to be you know, they're, they're suspect now because of of what they've done in this instance. They may very, very well have done it in other instances. So people are going to start questioning any judgments that have been made that were that with their investigations were used to get those judgments. And then because he was a member of the Hawks, it might also have repercussions on any cases he worked on when he was with the Hawks. Because when you do this kind of thing, you know, he didn't just start this extortion racket when he joined the municipality. Um, it's not something you just start, so it's learned somewhere. So it probably goes way back. Yeah, so there are big implications uh, potentially for current employees um, and past investigations in the Metro. This is very disheartening news. So the matter back in court on Monday when Ntutukum Tungwa applies for bail. Thank you so much for that update on a very important story coming to us from Durban. That's our senior reporter, Desen Thapi.